Hello, this is Damien with Dice Junkies, and I'm bringing you another video. Uh, this is uh, for Fallout 4, of course, and <clears throat> it is an alternate start mod. I got tired of the very long intro. Uh, I've built a lot of characters. I've probably built 30 characters, maybe more. And going through that intro every time got quite annoying so I was very happy when I started seeing the alternate start mods show up and I've tried a couple of them uh, one of them I loved it but uh, it was it was pretty buggy and I'll probably do a video on that one in particular just to show you but the one that uh, I've settled on for now it's called start me up uh, fallout 4 alternate start mod and what it does is you make your character up and it gives you a menu that you can choose whether you want to do an alternate start, uh, a quick start, which puts you directly into the vault, or you can do the normal start, which will take you through the entire intro. So what we're going to do is I'm going to create a character real hey, quick. My turn, big guy. And I'm going to show you the alternate start because the quick start takes you straight to the vault and you come out of the vault and you're the, you know, you're the sole survivor. Um, and then the normal start, it's the normal start. So the alternate starts the one that's going to give you options. And that's what I want to show you. I want to show you those options. Also, uh, it, it will change a lot of the dialogue in the game for you when you pick alternate start. So that's going to be interesting for me to, uh, to go through and to see. I've seen some of it because I've already made a character and, and used the alternate start. And I've seen a lot of the different uh, the different dialogue changes and stuff like that. Some of it matches up really, really well, and some of it it just there is no segue. It's just you say what your you know the dialogue change is, and then the person just basically answers your question, but acts like it ignored what you had said because you're not the sole survivor. And most people in the game still act like you're the sole survivor. Um, especially Codsworth. But anyway, let's make this character real quick. I'm going to go through and find the Barbie doll. There we go. <clears throat> and we're just going to select her. Then we're going to go open the door. And this is where the options come up. Now, if you pick, this is a memory, let's stay here a while, that takes you through the entire intro. That's the vanilla opening. Uh, if you choose, this is a memory, I don't want to relive this, that takes you straight to the vault. And you will start out in the vault after everything's happened and the game actually starts. Well, we're going we're gonna to pick this one. This is only a dream. I need to wake up. <clears throat> And let's see, I was in the Commonwealth and it just stopped to rest. The bombs were falling and I had entered a pod in a vault. Or you can even go back from here. Uh, but we were in the Commonwealth. We're not going to be the sole survivor. Uh, what makes me special, that lets you go through and um, set up your character. And we'll just do that. Uh, unique traits. It's going to let you choose some things. Now this is out of uh, this is the same thing that was in uh, Fallout New Vegas. And usually I just go through and I will pick small frame because it's going to give you plus two agility, and, but your limbs are 20% more easily crippled. Uh, that's usually the only one I do because the rest of them, it's a give and take on that. And um, some of them are just a bit more than I want to put up with in the game right now. I may try some of them later, but that's not what, uh, what I'm here for. What am I doing with my life? Uh, I have been thinking that I wanted to make an actual raider. And I'm going through all these so you can kind of see... Um, 
you know, they give you a lot of options, vault enthusiasts, stuff like that. But we're going to pick on this one, we're going to pick a raider. Uh, and where was I really? <clears throat> you can pretty much see, like, I was in an old ranger cabin. That's going to put you at the ranger cabin. Robot junkyard, that's going to put you in the... Uh, the uh, robot junkyard up by the uh, satellite Olivia place. Uh, I was with a raider gang. That's that's going to be a new one for me because if we're really not friendly with raiders and I pick that, I may get shot early. But that's what we're going with. I was with a raider gang, and you can still go back from here. Wait, I need to go back. Or enough, I'm ready to wake up. So I've made the options for the character. I have no idea where this is going to take me, so let's see. I'm ready to wake up. I don't know what kind of gear I'm going to have. I'm figuring I'm going to have Raider gear, though. And I have no idea where I'm going to wake up at. I have not tried this option, so... This should be interesting. Yep, and I'm not friendly with him. And I'm dead, right off the bat. <laughs> so that is not a good thing. <laughs> I, believe I, I believe I had a tire tool in my hand, and I'm wearing road leathers. And they shot me before I even knew what was going on. So this should be interesting. Oh, it puts you back in the bathroom. All right. Well, we know what happens now when you pick Raider. So I'm not going to wake up with the Raider gang. And I don't remember how I had everything set up here. Uh, I know I was highly charis charismatic. Charismatic? Charismatic. Uh, I, I kind of want a, a higher intellect, so there we go. All right. And we're just going to go back to small frame. That's me. I'm done. Thank you. I'm a raider. And where was I? We're going to be near Vault 111. We'll see. We'll see if that uh, helps me out. <clears throat> and then her story will be she was running with the Raider gang and then left them because they were stupid or something. I don't know. Maybe they caught her stealing from them or something. I don't know. They just... That was not interesting in the least. Okay. So now this one just started near... 111, which is right there. So that's not too bad. And you saw the uh, out-of-time quest. Explore the area. Basically, this is what you do. Now, what I want to see, and I, what I wanted to show in this video, is to see if this is still bugged. Because the last time I did this quest, I had to use console commands because the game screwed up. It did not like the fact that um, you have to push this button to call the elevator. But it did not like the fact that I was coming from the outside for the first time. And it just kind of glitched everything. So I'm going to quick save and let's see what happens. There we go. It looks like it's going to work. The first time I did it, I did it on my scientist character. And when I ran up to them on the elevator, not being able to move, and it wouldn't go into the vault or anything. <clears throat> now, this is the very interesting part to me. I, I, I thought this was a really cool touch from the mod makers is how this happens um, because you are not the sole survivor your character is not the sole survivor when you do the alternate start
which I'm very happy about because I, I was not really happy having to do the console commands to get in and out of the vault. And see, you cannot get the pit boy from here because, strangely enough, you already have one. So I'm not sure how that works. You know, uh, I'm not questioning that too much. Uh, now, what what you do is you come through here. Do I have a gun? I do have a pipe pistol. I would prefer that. Maybe now. Let's go in. Let's go in with the tire iron. I think I can fight them off. We're just gonna save it anyway. All right, and all the roaches are here in the hallway. And this is Nora. It just says Vault Dweller. But this is Nora. So, the sole survivor actually died in the vault, leaving the vault. And you come in to the vault and you get the, uh, the holotape, which is... the sequence where the baby gets kidnapped, where Sean gets kidnapped. Nice. Coming back later and for you. I thought that was pretty cool. It goes through the entire sequence of Sean getting kidnapped and then you get a quest. Um, a, okay, yeah, quit for some reason. Okay. But you'll get the quest that there's been a kidnapping and you have to report it. So that's how that's how that story progresses as you not being the sole survivor. Now, the only problems that I have, as I stated earlier, is some people still act like you're the sole survivor. Um, but there's nothing they can do about that because that's how the game is. But they change up dialogue options for you, and you'll, 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 like, you'll tell Codsworth, I'm not who you think I am. And then he'll just go on, you know, and be like, oh, no, you are who I think you are, such and such, you know. And, and it's really cool how it's set up. So, this is what I wanted to show you. It actually, it worked really well this time. It worked like it was supposed to. Uh, I was kind of worried that it would do the same thing that it did with my scientist character. And I would have to use console commands, but it actually worked this time. Um, and that's, uh, that's really good. I was able to actually show you it working properly. So I'm definitely endorsing this this uh, alternate start mod. I enjoy it. Uh, I like being able to choose different options. I like not having to be the sole survivor. And I'm going to do a playthrough where I don't even worry about this quest for a while. I mean, I know I'm going to have to get to the Institute to end the game and stuff. But it's not going to be my priority because I'm not going to be the sole survivor, you know. And... I, I want to be able to try a lot of different options with the mod. Making different characters and going through different scenarios. Uh, I think it's great and uh, I hope you enjoy it. I hope you enjoyed the video and it was informative. And thank you very much for watching. Remember all our links are below for Facebook, Patreon, Google+, all that good stuff, Twitter. And be sure to like and subscribe if you haven't already. Share with all your friends because I don't have any friends. And if you share with your friends, then we'll get the word out to more people. But once again, this is the Start Me Up Fallout 4 Alternate Start Mod. I'll have the link in the description where you can get it. I got mine from Nexus Mods. And uh, hey, have a great day.